So now we're going to get into um, adding and subtracting radical expressions. Okay. Um, now to add and subtract radical expressions, it's the same as adding and subtracting a lot of other things. You need what we call like radicals. You need like radicals. And basically um, a like radicals. So here we'll do like versus unlike radicals. Like radicals, unlike radicals. They need to have the same index. They need to have the same radicand. What does that mean? So the square root of x and two times the square root of x. Both of these terms have the same radicand, the same thing underneath the radical sign. They both have just an x and they have the same index. Both of them have an index of two. Both of them are square roots. So they are like radicals, unlike radicals. These are not like radicals. One of them has an x underneath and one of them has an xy. So they cannot be combined. They're unlike radicals. Um, three times the fourth root of 2x and two times the fourth root of 2x. That's a fourth root. They both have the same radicand. They both have the same uh, value expression underneath the radical sign and they both have the same index. So they are like radicals. Um, the square root of 2x and, sorry, oops. And the fourth root of 2x. They might have the same value or the same expression underneath the radical sign, but they do not have the same index and therefore they are unlike radicals. So need like radicals the same index and the same radicand or whatever is underneath the radical sign. So let's say that I have two times the square root of X and I wanna to add to that three times the square root of X. Think of it as, as having two marbles and I'm adding to that three marbles. You maintain the radical and you combine the numerator, numerators, the coefficients, two, plus three is five. Two of them plus three of them are five of them. Now, obviously this can get more difficult, but we'll start off easy. We'll work our way up. Um, let's say that I have the square root of eight plus, hold on, I'm thinking, the square root of 18 minus the square root of 50. Now, if you look at this, I want to add and subtract. So this was example one, just in case. And this is example two. I want to add and subtract these radicals, but they're not like radicals because one of them has an eight underneath. One of them has an 18. One of them has a 50. They all have the same index, but they don't have the same thing underneath the radical sign, but they all can be simplified though. So before I claim that, that, that they cannot be combined, I need to simplify them. Simplify first, if they can be. If they can't be, and they're not like radicals, you can't do anything with that. But these can be simplified. So this one can be represented as a square root of four times the square root of two, right? I chose this, simplified into a factor that is a perfect square. Two times the square root of two is the first one. Bring down my plus sign. Deal with this one. Um, Square root of nine times the square root of two. And this one, square root of 25 times the square root of two. Now I'm gonna change these to white again. So I can simplify them. This is two times the square root of two plus three times the square root of two minus five times the square root of two. And now I can approach this as a real problem because now they're completely simplified. Now I can say whether or not it could be combined. Can I add or subtract? Because of the fact that they're completely simplified. Now I can look for like radicals and it looks like they are all like radicals. So I have um, th uh, two of these square root of twos plus three 
plus three of these square root of twos minus five of these square root of twos. You can almost think of it, you know, as like a basic algebra, like two X plus three X minus five X. You approach it the same way. I'm not gonna leave that there just in case. So I have two of them plus three of them. So I'll write this out. This is five of them minus five of them. So I maintain the radical and I work the coefficients zero. There's zero of them. This actually simplifies to zero. Not every time is this gonna happen, but this one simplified into zero. The idea though, is that I started with unlike radicals or at least they looked like that before I simplified them. Once I simplified them, they became like radicals and then I can actually combine and, and subtract and add. So <clears throat> in order to add and subtract radical expressions, you need like radicals. They have to have the same index. They have to, they have, to have the same thing underneath the radical sign. And if they do, you just add and subtract them like any other, maintain the radical and then deal with the coefficients. Okay, so not a big deal, but you have to know how to simplify them obviously first.